Start by attaching the black 70 denier to the hook shank. And your index point for this pattern is the hook point. Everything we do for the rear of the fly, we want to do at or behind that hook point. I'm going to bring these tail fibers in. I want to make sure that as I tie them in, the portion that's left sticking out below is going to be about as long as the hook shank. So we'll get those started. And then I'm going to come in with a piece of small silver UTC wire, silver for this color combination. I catch it with a wrap or two, slide it down where I want it to be there. And then as I carry it down, I'm going to try to work that wire over onto the far side of the hook shank. And I want to take these wraps down the hook bend to where the bend starts to point down at the actual tip of the vise sticking out. When I get to that point, I'm going to return side by side wraps up to my index point. I'm going to come in, snip the excess of the feathers off. Once I have that taken care of, I'll start to wrap this wire forward. And when I've reached that index point, I'm going to hold that up. Get a couple snug wraps over the top of it. And then I'm just going to helicopter that off. Now I'm going to come in with my piece of pearl flash. It's going to get folded over the top, the wing case when I finish. I'm going to catch that with a wrap, slide it in there behind the bead and secure it. I'm going to wrap just back, just behind the hook point for this portion. Let that sit. For my legs, I've got about an approximation here of about 24 strands of the floral fiber. For this color combination, we're using black. And I'll let these extend out the front a little bit, catch them with a wrap or two, and then just slide them down to where they drop in right behind that bead there. Once again, wrapping back to about that same point. Just a little behind the hook point. I have that all situated. I'm going to apply a little bit of tack to the thread here with some loon swax. And I'm going to create a nice thin hopefully tight and compact dubbing rope. Once I have that rope created, I'm going to come in here. I want to apply firm pressure as I bring these wraps forward. And when I get right behind the bead, I want to compress this and make sure that my dubbing is fairly compact behind the bead. The reason why I want to do that is so that when I pull these legs forward, they don't splay out. Uh, in a more perpendicular direction of the fly. I want them to be able to taper and stick back. So once I have that situated there, I'm going to take my legs and I'll pull them over the top. Cinch them down with a couple firm wraps. And then I'm going to come up through the middle of them. I'm going to divide them roughly in half here. Approximately, I obviously want half and half. So I'm going to pull this half back. Secure it down to the side with a couple firm wraps. Pull the other half back. Secure that down. And then lastly, I'm going to pull this flash right over the top. Same idea here. I'm going to secure it with a wrap or two. Fold it back over the top. Secure it with another one or two wraps and then just come in and snip it with my scissors. These legs, I want to trim them so that they extend just past the back of the thorax. So I'm going to come in, snip those about there. And whip finish the fly. Once I've whipped finished the fly, I'm going to come in with a little five minute epoxy and I want to thinly just work this up the back of the fly. I don't want this goopy. I don't want a lot of build up. I just want a nice, smooth, clear coat. It's going to give it just a little bit of extra sheen. Allow that to dry for five minutes and your radiation beta is completed.